Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two running backs who are hoping for plenty of running lanes on that field today. It's the Cowboys going up against the Falcons. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 3 matchup. Falcons, Cowboys coming up on EA Sports. The season moving quickly already as we get set for today's Week 3 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before a kickoff is what do you expect here today? Jim, I expect an emotional football game here today. We have two teams that are very disciplined, but can they stay that way? When you let emotion get involved, usually sometimes you miss an assignment. And what is that? What happens? When you miss an assignment, it usually leads to a big play. So control your emotions is a big deal in this game here today. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. We're underway here. Bryant's going to test the coverage here. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Romo's heading towards the huddle now, having connected on over 70% of his passes last week. Tony Romo is just so much more powerful than people give him credit for. He can arch it down the field and put it right on target. First down at the 21. Takes it from the eye. Trufant's there to make the tackle. Jim, let's keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. Second down and six. Hand off. Picked up a couple that time. And now we'll look at the Cowboys offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. Third down on the way. The Falcons defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Complete to Williams. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Cowboys have it at the 34. Gets about nine on the play. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Let's go. 
Second and short. To the ground. Godfrey's all over that offense and brings him down. The Cowboys running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. The ball is out. A recovery. But a foot race to the end zone. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long? Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. The Falcons with the PAT to come. Inside of the uprights. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. Hyde's going to test the coverage this time. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Cowboys had their last drive in with them coughing up the football. And before coming out for this possession, I'm sure there were a few words exchanged on the sideline just to remind these guys you can't do that again. Oh, absolutely. Look, there's a lot of things you can put up as an offense in the NFL. You can put up with penalties. You can even understand interceptions because so many variables go into that interception. But fumbling the football, that is the worst one of all. Let's see if they can keep a tight grip on it as this drive gets started. The Cowboys snap it at the 31. And he's forced to the ground. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see when they don't have to blitz and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. The Cowboys come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. Third and nine. A great play by the defense, and now an opportunity to make that lead a little more comfortable before heading to the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, you know what they're doing, Jim? They're giving the team confidence, and when you get confident on the football field, you play fast and loose, and that's when you're at your best. Set up now at the 42. First down at the 42. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. A gain of nine. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Boy, if his head got yanked back the other way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. And with no options, he goes ahead and throws it away. It's now second down. Go. 
quick drop back. Throws the pass. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys that they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up for coming up and making the tackle. Atlanta in the end zone. Touchdown. Their lead grows a little more with that touchdown and still a long way to go in this half. They may be able to add even more to it before the break. Jim, I don't, I don't see anything that's going to slow them down. Everything they are trying is working. They have been spectacular here so far today. And all I can say to the opponents, you better buckle up. This is going to be tough. Falcons setting up here for the kickoff. Welcome back. Halftime just a couple of minutes away as we resume play out of the two-minute warning. Second down, four to go. Lawrence is there to make the tackle. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? First and goal. Anderson with the grab. And they score again here to pad the lead. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. He made it. The Cowboys cannot come up with any answers here before halftime. And now they await the kickoff. Perhaps they can put some points on the board before the intermission. The scores, 21 to 0. The Falcons getting ready for the kickoff. Just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Cowboys offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. That's his first reception today. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Over the middle and incomplete that time. The Cowboys need to be able to pass the football to stay in this game, and they've had no success so far. Romo is such a crucial part of this offense, and he's so competitive. What are you looking for the rest of the way here, Phil? I tell you what I think, Jim. You know, I think he needs a little more protection. Give him some more time so he can find those guys and get the rhythm of passing the football down the field back. So if the offensive line picks up what they're doing, that is really going to improve the play of the quarterback. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And there's Whitten. Gets about nine on the play. The Cowboys signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Romo's lining up in the pistol. 
Second and one. Joseph Randall with the reception. Durant in on the tackle. The Cowboys will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Only eight yards to go. First and goal. Over to Witten with the reception. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. Scans the field. And Dallas in the end zone. Well, that time the protection was outstanding. All day to throw it, and then finally... The quarterback found the open receiver, put it on target. Nice touchdown throw. Makes the PAT. Falcons about to receive the kickoff just before halftime. Perhaps they can do something with it to increase their lead. Currently scores 21 to 7. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Falcons come out for the next possession, having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback to call exactly the plays that need to be called because of the situations. And the quarter, he's in the clear. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. Nearing the half, and this one is a laugher. Oh, well, yeah, one team's pretty happy about it, but how about on the losing end of it? How would you feel like uh, to be being blown out here right before halftime? It's a terrible feeling, and I don't know if you can regroup in the second half. It's good. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. He'll have a chance to take off. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. And that will close out the first half here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Time now for a short break. And we'll be back after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Cowboys are down right now, but they have to feel like they're still in it. The Falcons came in prepared for this game, and it shows in the way they've played. All right, let's roll those highlights. Third down from inside the 30. The completion is made on the slant, and it ends up working for a touchdown. The lead now at 14. Now midway through the second. Hankerson's got the catch over the middle. And that goes as a 10-yard touchdown, which takes the lead to 21. Third down, inches to go. Romo's got the completion from the gun. And it's going to end up going for a gain of 47. Cowboys now later on the drive. Romo's completion is made out of the gun. And after the short pass, he'll score. Closing the gap to 14. So that's it for us. We'll go back now to Arlington for the start of the second half. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Falcons have lit it up today, Phil. Ryan's been marching his team up and down the field. It's been tremendous design by the offensive coaches coming into this game today. They have given their quarterback and wide receivers chances to make plays, and boy, are they taking advantage of it.
the Cowboys go with the dime formation here on defense. The Falcons snap it at the 31. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The Cowboys' defense now is going to go nickel. Up the gut here. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Defense, play the situation. It's third long. Don't let a receiver get behind you and make a catch to pick up the first down. Keep it in front of you, and then let them catch it and come up and make the tackle. Third and ten. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. A near interception that time by Skandrick. The Falcons don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. And it's a fake. They're running a fake. Incomplete. Carr was there defending. Well, anytime you run a fake punt and you let somebody throw the football besides the quarterback, even though the play is there and everybody's wide open, you still have a chance of not making it work. Why? Because the guy throwing it is not an NFL quarterback. First down at the 30. Collins is there that time for the tackle. Randall's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First and ten. Randall's the receiver on the screen. Durant's the one who made the big stop. Well, we see it more and more. Football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Midway into the third. Nick Beasley takes him to the ground. You know you got a good defense when you can hit the quarterback and sack him when you're only sending your defensive front and no blitzers. Let's go. The Cowboys snap it at the 31. And they'll get to him again for the sack. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. No chance to return this one as that punt is headed to the sidelines. The Falcons take the field here. Their last possession ended with a very crazy decision going for it on fourth down from their own territory. Uh, an unusual decision, to say the least. I don't know if it's unusual. We see this all the time from this guy. So it's 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 when you're going to learn. You know, I guess when you pile up enough losses, you'll finally say, hey, I want to win a game. I'm going to manage it differently. And in those situations, you should punch. Okay, if you were playing the game right now, what would you have done with that last possession? I absolutely would have punted it without question. Games 14. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. Ryan's going to take off with it. Makes the catch in open space. White takes the hit and brought down. Falcons still on offense to start the fourth. Capped off the third quarter with a huge play. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Here's the handoff out of the strong arm. Cowboys guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Loss of two on that play. Freeman's got it on the handoff. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. The Falcons now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. Third and two. Smith's handed the football. 
this offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. Well, one of the hardest things to do, and I think in the NFL now, is third and short is run the football and pick up yards. That time, nice job by the offensive line. They showed their power, and they picked up the first down. Dropping back three, scanning the field. Locked in on the, the margin is increased with another touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. The Cowboys have really just been outplayed in every facet of this game. Really just looking for any sort of answer. The score's 35 to 7. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Cowboys stalled on their last drive, forced to punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was... And he's taken down. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. The Cowboys came away as tough luck losers last time out, and today has been a problem for them just to try to stay in this game, Phil. Yeah, it has been. And after last week's emotional loss, what you do as a coach, you come out in the next game and you change tactics to give your team confidence and get them going. They didn't do that. That's why they're having such a hard time here today. he throws it the Cowboys put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage they know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long and they were ready for it Hester's gonna look for space now and at the 37, he'll be brought down. That return's good for about 24. Hester is able to show off his talent on that pump return that time. What speed and quickness. That allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. First down at the 37. And now Ryan's going to take off. Unable to bring it in. Make the quarterback get outside the pocket, and there is nobody open. They covered everybody. The Falcons from the 37. Freeman's marked down after a gain of four. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle, as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. The defense gets a sack. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. Falcons need to get to the 27 to pick up a first. Ryan's on the move. For the deep ball down here, and the catch is made in the secondary. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Well, how about that, Jim? Not a surprise. Down the red zone one more time. They're blowing them out, and this offense has been spectacular. What will they do here? You know what? I think they'll just run it and try to end this game. Touchdown, Falcons. Tammy's caught his first touchdown of the season. That could be construed as running up the score, Phil. This game was already in the bag. Well, Jim, it could be construed. You got to try a little harder or the score will get run up on you. How about that? You know, you are allowed to stop them on the defensive side and you got to put some effort into it and some heart and we've seen neither. 
And the extra point is good. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. They bring him to the turf. That returns good for about 19. The Cowboys come out now with little time left on the clock, and they've got to be thinking, what could have been here today, partner? Yeah, that's, a, you know, Jim, these are tough moments, and once you do in a situation like this, don't throw any more gasoline on the fire. If you're the quarterback, don't take a chance and throw a silly interception that people are going to talk about. Don't fuck the ball if you get the ball in your hands as a runner or a receiver, and just get this game over with. Okay, partner, it's still early in the season, but this team continues to stay unbeaten. Yeah, when you're hot, Jim, take advantage of it. Keep it going because the NFL season, it's like four seasons built into one. You go up and down. So when you're hot, trust it, believe in it, and try to keep it going. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.